Hello everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I am here with a jewelry jar and jarring. Um, I know it's been a little while since I did one. This one, um, <laughs> my, one of my nails broke and I hadn't done my nails and um, so I didn't want to go live <laughs> with having messed up nails. So um, this guy's chipping, but mostly they're fine. Um, and I've gotten a new job so I've been a little busy with that so um this one though is an older Goodwill bag and so this one I got a little while ago it's from my hoard um I do like to disclose that because I know you know a lot of us aren't finding things in the same way we used to anymore and they like to disclose that so I think I think this one might be a little, a little bit old. Um, I don't even remember how old, but it was $25. I don't get any discounts or anything. So, interesting. Remember the day we first met. It's a pin about your cat and dog. Yeah, good luck. Um, sometimes, I mean, I still get, to, I still see them sometimes, but, um, and sometimes I still find really good things in them, but not nearly as much as I used to. Um, we have this. I might actually put... This one's pretty cute. I may put it in one for my um, friend's daughter who really likes jewelry. And I've been putting some stuff aside for her. <clears throat> I really like this one when I saw this. It is from Korea, but it's such a lovely fall leaf. I just really like this. It reminds me of um, my husband. We started dating in the fall, and I just thought that was so nice. This guy is a JJ brooch. And it's another leaf pin. But it's a very cute. Never mad at getting brooches in my jewelry jars. This one seems kind of small, right? Like, yeah, it's pretty small. It looks kind of older, too. I don't think it's silver or anything. It's very pretty, though. It's got elephants and stuff on it. I kind of like it. It's cute. There's another one in here, too. That's similar. They're very small. Another leaf. You know what's nice though too with these? I think people don't always realize that like having um like assorted of the same kind of thing looks really nice on like a jean jacket or something like that. Um, I really do want to start doing some videos about like layering things because I've really been trying every day <laughs> to make sure that I have a couple items of jewelry on because I have so much. So it seems to me a waste to like have all this jewelry and never wear it to work or out so I have been trying to wear at least a necklace and rings and or necklace and earrings or maybe some rings or bracelets or something like that so if that's something you guys would be interested in and in seeing how I like layer things like especially necklace necklaces I only have one piercing so I, I can't layer earrings but let me know this guy's from Nine West. These are actually really cute. They're in pretty decent shape, too. Those are cute. I like this. Um, Nine West is okay. I, I do like some of their purses and things. They, they do sometimes have nice purses. Oh, so this goes like this. So these are silver plated. Some of these Robert Lee Morris um, earrings and things are actual silver. 
Um, but these ones, they say they're plated. They're pretty though. Very nice and simple. I do sometimes find though that like these are hard to like get open and close sometimes. And I think that needs to be brought up. So I think it needs to get fixed a little bit. And this one only has two on here. Is also Nine West. They have this other line. But there's only two of them in there. Hello. I'm actually going to Canada this week. Um, I can actually say that because there'll be people home. Um, I never... I did it once by accident, told people when we were leaving, um, but I am leaving to go to a training in Toronto, so I will be there Thursday and Friday. Pretty excited about that. These are really cute. These are Hush earrings. I have not heard of that brand, but they're very cute. Here's more of them. I love going to Toronto. It's so fun. Ah, it's stuck on something. These are really cute. And they're glass. Just very nice and simple. Oh, I like these. Very cute. This one's missing. This guy, but that's a simple fix. And then these say they are sterling silver. They're little crosses. Let's see. These ones are from TJ Maxx. I have a feeling the RLM was too. Those are really cute. Tiny sterling silver ones. So not bad so far. Found some fun things. This one I think is Oh, it's LCD. Never heard of that brand. And there's a little ABC. So nice little teacher gift. And this is a little lapel pin. Christmas tree. I love pins. There seem to be a lot in here. Unfortunately, the, the one that I got this one from, they don't really have very many anymore. It's kind of sad. This one's so pretty. I don't know, maybe they do, and I just don't know. I don't know if maybe they're putting more on Shop Goodwill. I don't know. But this is very pretty. I did get a couple nice bags before they stopped. They had management changes and stuff. This one looks like P-I-S-C-T-E-L-L-I -L -L or something. <laughs> Actually, um... It's a very pretty brooch. It's very close to us, Canada. It's closer than any other state, actually, going to Canada. It's very pretty. So Toronto is one of the closest major cities to us. This one is a Monet. Arizona is nice. My husband dies in the heat. This is so cute. I like the kind of abstract mid-century modern type lines to this. Yeah, those are very nice brooches so far. Um, I think this is a collar pin. I don't know if these ever come in gold or anything. I don't even really know how to use them. I know this ball comes out and they go through your collar, I think. And then you put them together. But I don't know. I really need to figure out how to wear the, these because I'm quite intrigued by them. And I know they sell too. I, 15, 15 maybe. I don't know. I haven't listed any because I... I don't know why. I don't have a good reason. Probably because I'm lazy. Look at how cute this one is. So see what I mean? Like, wouldn't this be so cute on like a 
cardigan or something. Like these three like this. They're so cute. Love the colors in that very fall. I think I may actually try something like that. We'll see. Pulling out a couple things here. This one. So also that pastorelli or whatever. I don't know if this is maybe a scarf thing. Or a belt loop, or I honestly don't know for sure. What does this guy say? Lusty, maybe? Legio? I don't know. It's a little angel, though. I gotta find a back for it, because, ouch, he's a little pokey. This one's cool. Just like, let me look some of this stuff. Just like this. I really like this part of it. It's very tribal Indian looking. Like from India, I mean. It's very cool. I like that. Oh, here's a, oh look at this. I that's so cute. A little Snow White Timex watch. With the grumpy and all of them. Um, I think it might be pewter. Looks like like the color of pewter to me. That's so cute. That looks older. I like it. What's this guy? Oh, he's a little football helmet. This is pretty. I think it's, well, if I, um, let me see. This is old. This is quite old, actually. Oh, yeah, it's the Pastorelli or whatever that one is, too. But look at how pretty this one is. This one and this one are very similar. They're very pretty. This guy's broken. It's a shame. It's pretty cute. I wonder if it can be used for something. This one's neat, too. This one's, like, reverse... Well, it's not carved, but I don't know. It's cool, though. Very vintage-y. And this one's just an Italy crucifix. Very nice little wreath. These kind of things I think are cute, super sweet on like a cardigan, things like this. And this guy's also cute. Love friend forever. Oh, I think there might be, oh, what is this? I think. They might be earrings. I thought at first it could be a pin, but it's, I hope the other one's in there. Those, those are cool. Oh, I think this might actually have been why I bought this too, this guy. I really like this. It's like a mannequin. And I think it's the 1928 one. I like how three dimensional this is down here. Very French couture looking to me. I love that guy. 
I'm a little like paisley. And a little Girl Scout sweetheart pin, a little chain. I haven't sold any of those. I don't know. Do the Girl Scout things sell well? Does anyone know? Look at how cute the little cherries are. I love cherries. Anything with cherries. Kind of sweet on. I gotta, gotta be honest. I know. I love it. There are a lot of brooches in this one. Some American flag, which is always nice. A couple holidays you can wear those on. And then this one, somebody actually, Davenport, made, which I think is so cool. <laughs> I love them. I have some plastic ones. I don't know for sure if they're Bakelite or not, because um, the red Bakelite's harder to test, because it doesn't oxidize as much. Oh, I think this is a, br a pin. Yes. Nice. I like this poinsettia pin. Can't have poinsettias because I have a cat, so I can wear them. So I think, so there's some free things that they give away for one of the um, Indian schools, Indian being Native American schools for free. And I think this might be one of those things. Um, I keep seeing them selling um everywhere the like feather and those the one single feather like it's two feathers on a chain and those are free look at how cute this is so it's a nice little set everything seems to be there they're he they're heavy-ish too they're not like uncomfortably heavy i don't think um but they're quality heavy I think these are so pretty I love these yeah they go with the necklace they're um, exactly the same so this is Burt Castle or Cassell and this is gold filled and it's just like black onyx which I have a set similar to this so I really like that these are sometimes set in gold or um, gold filled. Oh, I love this one. I love lamp posts. It's broken though. So this will have to get um, recycled somehow into something, art or something. That's definitely something that needs to not just go in the garbage. This guy, I find that one every once in a while. I don't know who this this is. Aqua, it looks like. You guys know I don't know much about watches, unfortunately. This is cool. A bangle, it's not tiny like some of the other ones. This was a little angel, and it's tangled in with this. This is plastic. Oh, that's cute. The little bear with the crown. Brooch. Try not to poke myself here. a lot of things that could poke me here. <laughs> Look at, there's just like pins everywhere. We're gonna try not to hurt ourselves here. Look, I can't tell if there's a stone missing there. I think there might be one, but it's a very cute hummingbird brooch. This one's neat. Let's see, is there a name on this guy? I don't see it. 
But I think that's got a cool design. What do you guys think? I like the three three Dness of it. It's a very stabby bag. Ah. Which I love. I actually I love listing brooches. It's my favorite thing to list. This is very well made. It's cool. I have also seen like where people put together. So here, I'll bring you guys in a little bit. Some like, you know, gold ones too. Just, you know, as a couple. Or I've seen people do lots of these cameo type ones. So I definitely think you can make some really cool looks out of out of these. This one's unfortunately missing some and they're plastic. This is Celebrity New York. What is this? It's a little clown. Playing a horn. I've never seen that before. As a little communion cup or something. Maybe for first communion. Or Christmas. And another pin. This one, I think, is Jerry's. Yeah. The Jerry's sometimes are, have very whimsical designs, but they're oftentimes not made the most um, wonderfully. It says Monet. Very, very nice. Very well made. See what I mean? I just think that's so cool. Or like, like you go on the design wise. I don't know. Like I said, let me know. Or show me pictures if you guys do that well yourself. I think this one um, I might go with that other uh, the lamp post. Oops, this is neat, right? I think this is. Do you think this is supposed to look like a light or something? That's super cool. It's brass. Brass doesn't smell very much. I just had to, <laughs> just had to smell it and see if it did. But I think that's pretty cool. I love artisan-made pieces. They're so unique. I just always love getting them. So it's also a little paisley. Oof, that one was difficult to move. He's missing something, but it's so cute. Yeah, I got to do a little bit more tutorials. They take a little bit more time. So that's why it can be difficult sometimes, but they're my favorite things to do are the education and tutorials. This is really cute. Very, like, old school to me. This guy's neat. I don't know what this is made out of. But it's different. Hmm. And then another little paisley. I love paisley, honestly. My husband has some paisley ties and things, and I just think they're so cool. If he didn't always wear a cap, brooch I would have him wear this with some of where he's got ties and things with paisleys on them I think that would be fun oh made in Austria huh that's pretty cool 
There's some paint loss, but it's not bad. And I don't think the pistol's broke, the, this guy. I think that's pretty, pretty cool. I like that. This is cute. There's two people and a little carriage. It's a brooch. Cherries. And look. Oh, this is Burberry. That's right. These are Edgar Burberry earrings. I love these. I may actually wear these for the summer. What do you guys think? Sorry, I keep keep messing with the thing. So these ones, um, Burberry often has stickers. A lot of those of his I see have stickers on them. But it's in such nice condition. Cherries are my favorite. Um, I just absolutely love them. Let's see. This is like, like if I could get every bag that had like brooches and things it would just be in my element you know just love it grab some more out trying to be careful so I don't <laughs> stick myself a bee a little cherub and that's a pin I love these I live in Buffalo so I always enjoy the Buffalo pins Let me open this guy up that's weird I don't know if this was meant to be this way oh yeah Interesting. Or if, like, they just threw this in there and, uh, it was a collar pin. Interesting. I have ordered from ThreadUp. Um, I have had both amazing and terrible experiences, so. <laughs> I guess the good ones probably make up for the bad ones. It's very cute. I think it's Avon. Yeah, Avon. Little pin. Hmm. Oh, thank you for missing me while I was gone. I do, I have, um, I guess I had a new job and it's been taking a lot more time and thought. Um, but that's a good thing, I think. I think this is so pretty with this enamel. What do you guys think? I, I think that's, oops. <laughs> I think that's lovely, even though I, I dropped it. The lavender color is so pretty. You know, this will be perfect for Easter. I do have to warn you, I may sneeze soon. <laughs> This is pretty. Kind of looks like Swarovski. I don't see any marks at all though. This one, um, this one is decently heavy. This one is also looks like some of the vintage SAL pieces. Very pretty. This I think is supposed to look like black coral. It's cool. <laughs> I know it. This guy's broken. Um, sometimes I do have to limit myself or I also go crazy. It's a little lapel pin. What's this guy? Oh, there's like a tiny bit of loss there and there and there. But look at how cute this is. I wonder if these are from the 80s. They remind me of like scratch and sniff stickers. 
you know, like that kind of genre and like when the Smurfs and stuff. I think it might be. I love that. Oh, wow, this is pretty. This is art. Arthur Pepper is art. Um, very difficult, by the way, to um, search for Arthur or art <laughs> online because you get things that are not what you're looking for. So if you're ever looking for something for um, like a signed art like this, look for Arthur Pepper. But that is super cool. Let's see if, how well I can get this to clean up, but I like that so much. It's a little pendant. Could have been a part of a brooch, too. I don't know for sure. Oh, that is the cutest little mouse I've ever seen. M for mouse. Little round pin. This one looks well made, but I don't think it is sterling or anything. I have also seen people put these together, a couple little round ones. Um, I think that would be cool, little scatter ones. This is beautiful. I think this is a ornament. I do not see mark, but it's beautiful enamel and rhinestone. It's very pretty. Yes, I love I love Miss Sally and Angie. They're my BFFs. So if you guys haven't checked out Sally's videos, she is Vintage Discovery, and she has wonderful bag videos and jewelry videos. This is really cool. This is Avon. And also Angie, um, Treasured Vintage. This is so cool. Oh, and you can wear just the music or put it in here. And it goes together. Ingenious. I really like that. Yes, Sally's hilarious too. I'm not nearly as funny as she is. I'm much more serious. She's just, um, funny, um, uh, naturally funny. That's what I was trying to say. This is cool. This is a little scarf clip. It's very pretty. And another brooch. So these two, and not brooch, these are pins. Let's see what's in this little bag. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Angie's Treasured Vintage. I think that's probably what you meant. And, um, and Sally's channel too. This is pretty. Oh, what do we have here? And um, if you guys want more education videos too, um, Chapel Hill Vintage has amazing videos for um, like jewelry education. I love her videos. Huh, this one I think is too far. It's pretty though. I don't know that there's any saving this. This one might need to get um, crafted with, but either way, it'll be it'll be a cool one to craft. These are those charms, the Italian charm bracelets. Yeah, see this one's saying the steel and eighteen carat. So I don't know if you can scrap this because this little piece here is 18 karat gold. Or what? Have you guys had any luck? Have you ever like 
scrap these. Not all of them are, but this one is. I love these, by the way. This is so awesome. And there's really none missing. So I think like the around here is just the way that it was. I am uh, in love with this guy. I think Angie actually just got a really cool one like this, a couple ones. So this is copper and then enamel. Um, and a lot of these ones are mid-century modern. Um, and I just absolutely love the colors in this. Definitely not colors you would think would go together. This is probably one of my favorite things out of this bag because I'm crazy. I like the weird like thing weird things sometimes, but that is so awesome. This bag is really cool so far. <laughs> I think I don't even know. Sally can tell you what time it is here. We're in the same time zone. This one's cool. Starting to unwrap though. This is all plastic. What is this one? I love mustard color. I look actually very good in mustard because I don't love or look great in yellow. There's one little one missing here. So cute. Love this. Yeah, I did recently on this one. It's a hair thingy. Mailed something to England and I had heard that they're they're really strict on their um, customs and the person did have to go log in and pay their customs. So this one's a memory bracelet. I just, I'm very fair. Um, so like, or, you have to have the right tone, you know? You can wear yellow, but you have to have the right tone. This is pretty. Little rose. This almost looks like a 1928 piece. Very cute, vintage inspired. PM. There's another M, so somebody's name was M. And so cute. Little earring. Prayer pail. I don't know what that means, but that's fun. A couple more things. Do you guys like haul videos too? Well, sometimes I've been thinking about doing that, but I wasn't sure if you guys liked them or not. Yeah, there's still a lot of M's in here. Oh, goodness. All right. Look at how cute this is. Enamel. Very pretty. Oh, good. Maybe I will do some haul videos. All right. Well, there's a patent on this one. Look at how pretty this is. Mm, smells old. I only see a patent. Don't see any marks. By the way, sometimes there are marks here. I actually just bought a pin on Etsy. It was like almost $30. And I saw some writing here and I thought it might be gold. And when I got it, it was, it was 10 karat gold. Um, so always make sure you look in that's one place that often has it. This is cool. This looks vintage, right? What does it say? Oh, this is sterling. A sterling on it and it's enamel that is super cool I wonder how old this is that's super cool they're like a piece of history I love that it's 
another crucifix, but it's a pin. It's cool. Very well made, actually, also. I don't know why I said actually, but... Huh. This little... Is this for a buttonhole or something? I haven't seen one like that before. This guy's an axe. It was on something else. I don't know what. North Bay, Canada. Do you guys know where North Bay is? I love these old vintage ones. With the this one's in great shape. I um sometimes I I like to see things like this for places around where I live and um, I always keep them. That's so cool. I know um, Sally also likes tourist things like that. Pin in North Bay. It's cold here in Buffalo too. <laughs> How do you wear these? These are so cool. Is this like, it looks like there might be a tiny crack in there. It's so neat though. Have you guys seen something like this before? Like a lapel pin? I wonder if it'll leak or not. You put like a little flower in there or something? I've never seen anything quite like that. These guys, those are from the 80s, right? I swear I used to have those in the 80s. Oh, look at him. He's cute. TBC 2003. He is adorable. I like him. The snowman guy. These are some little hearts. Oh, this heart says 14 carat. This is the other one. It also says 14 carat on both of them. These little hearts. Not the paper clip, I'm sure. <laughs> it's so funny, my eye is itching right now, and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Hot Ones, but they always tell you when you're eating anything hot not to touch your eyes. I always try to do the same thing with the jewelry bags. And boy, my eye is itching right now. I don't know, I was thinking that that's what you're supposed to do with it, but I've never seen anything like that. So see, I think you could probably do something cool with these. This one I think is older. It's cool. And this one seems very well made. I don't know, is this for a scarf? You guys think? I'm thinking scarf. This is huge. Made in Hong Kong. I love he stuff. And an angel. You always gotta have an angel. Oh, here's the earrings that go with that one necklace. And this one I think is just in time for St. Patrick's Day. It is missing one little guy right there though. St. Patrick's Day is really big here in Buffalo. We do have a very big Irish American population. So we have like the second largest or something like that parade in the US here in Buffalo. Um, it's crazy. Like how big it is. This is neato. I don't, I think this is meant to look vintage, like Victorian. I don't think it actually is, but it is really cool. It does have like a C clasp, but I think I need to fix it a little bit, bend it over and up. I think this is old, but I don't think it's Victorian. And Victorians did use 
real turquoise in their designs. I don't know, this is really cool. And I've noticed some of the Victorian jewelry like this, they can have pieces added or like the very top of it sometimes is gold and like the rest of it might not be. This just has a patent. The American Legion Auxiliary. Oh, NHS Junior. What are these? I've never seen ones like this before. Have you guys? Oh, it must just be like a pin, right? 1936. National Honor Society. Wow. That's old. Awesome. Oops. <laughs> this looks sterling. This might be a fraternity pin. What do you guys think? I don't see a mark, but this definitely looks sterling to me. And it looks like a fraternity pin. That's cool. Hmm. I think this says, I don't know. Let me see. I guess can't tell. It says Avon. <laughs> that said 10K. Fool me. It says single earring. Oh, look at this little apple. That is cute. And a little cross. I don't think that one is gold or anything. This is fun. This also looks 80s to me. I know, it's awesome. Truffle pins. I love this. It's heavy too. It's well made. Those have a cool look. Stand against racism pin. That's awesome. Hmm, this looks old. One of the prongs is coming off a little. Let me see if I can see my magnet. Hmm. I have my stuff everywhere right now. Ah, oh, here it is. I was stuck to something else. Let's see if this is magnetic. It is not. It certainly looks like it could be gold, doesn't it? And see, the back is open for the jewel. I'm going to actually set this prong back. So it doesn't get lost. There we go. I know it looks old, right? Old and gold. I just think it's really cool how it's set through. So I like that a lot. That's very pretty. Somebody must have been a teacher, I think. This is so cute. Love it. Very well made. Fire Mountain Gems. <clears throat> and an American flag. 
look at this. It was on sale. Statue of Liberty. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. This one. I love vintage and Edwardian and Art Deco. Oh, this is Christian Dior. Oh, so pretty. I hope the other one's in there. Oh, very, very pretty. Another apple. And more of those. Child's coming in, just be warned. Only have a couple more things. This is in there. This looks older too, copper. This is heavy. That's super cool. I like that. There's a little V with a chain, two chains. only a little bit left let's see this guy and that's a pen <clears throat> oh look it's a moose That's cute. I like mooses. Oh, look, it's Gumby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so fun. I have not found Gumby anything in forever. Of course, I always think of um, Eddie Murphy when I see anything that is Gumby. It's a pin our health place this guy's cool I think it's a photo lapel pin <laughs> Gumby is an old claymation um, cartoon that we had here in the US quite a while ago it was old I don't see any markings on this <laughs> Bobby pin and hat. Oh, look at this fun, fun little insect brooch. He's fun. This is a very interesting. Another circle brooch. See, like the circles, right? We could do stuff with the circles. I don't know. I think it could be cool. There's different tones here. I don't know. Just an idea. This one's cute. I've seen this one before. The little angel. Oh, here's the other earring. So we do have those. Another B. Some earrings and a two pendants. Interesting hat. a hat pin <laughs> not to be confused with the other kind of hat pin little hearts with a chain oops 
more flags. It's another flag. And another flag. <laughs> and another flag. Lots of flags. All the flags. And an S brooch. Oh, hey, and there's two of these. So when there's multiples, they call them scatter brooches. So you can put two of these on your cardigan. Very nice. Same with this guy. It's too missing, but it's so cute. This would be so perfect for Valentine's Day. Love it. This looks like another fraternity one. This top looks like it was added. This also looks gold to me. What do you guys think? That definitely looks like gold to me. Let's wait to see if it's... This is not magnetic. I know, it does look like it, right, Sally? I'm gonna put it aside. It's got that color to it. So let's see. See, they both have that color to me, I think. Oh, look at this little buggy. He's cute. <laughs> I love bug jewelry. This one's different. It's older. Cool geometric design. Don't particularly care for these, but to each their own. They look very 80s to me. Oh, no, it's ARC. LCD. I think this one was made by somebody. So somebody must have <laughs> been a teacher and probably got lots of different Apple pins throughout their lifetime. Oh, March for silent, sci Science. Ooh, look at this guy. Swatch Watch. I know nothing about them, um, except for the fact that some of them are worth money. And they're plastic, and they were meant to be, like, disposable. So that's cool. Ooh, this is kind of gross. Let's see. I gotta open this. You know, sometimes bags just start, like, feeling... Weird textury. And another angel. <laughs> I like giving away things people can eat or drink. Because even if you don't drink the booze um, for teachers, you know, you can always regift it. That's pretty. This is articulated. And... Oh, that's interesting. What is this? This is another one of the button covers. I think this is the French ivory, which is really celluloid. So you can see the lines in it. That's really cool. Definitely some neat old, older vintage stuff in here. And then there was this pendant, which is very pretty and well-made looking. This guy was some hematite. And an ear cuff. And a bear. Cute little bear pin. Oh, look at this guy. That's too cute. It's funny. Then this one's broken, so it'll go into the arts and art, arts and crafts. Lot. Too bad I only had the one Christian Dior earring. So pretty. 
All right, we got some really cool stuff here, I think. See, and then these ones that were marked, I'll show you guys the colors. Because I really do think it all looks like, like it. I don't know. I love this. Definitely got some cool stuff. This one was really cool, too. Um, these are heavy and well made too by the way and I love some of the leaves and stuff like this so this bag was awesome <sighs> I wish I could find more that were like this that were awesome too but um, I will be happy until I find more to go through some of my old bags with you I hope you guys enjoy that too even though, like I said, I know it's kind of disappointing that we're not seeing as, as many anymore. At least I'm not. Some people still um, are finding wonderful ones. So that's awesome. But otherwise, I hope you guys had fun. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.